Hey guys, I'm just jumping right into this video. <laughs> just diving right in. Brincando. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Before I get started, um, I think before I go back to school, I'm going to try my best to do the giveaway because I'm really excited about that. Um, and I think I'm going to keep my beach thing kit out and put that as part of the giveaway. There's going to be one, two, three, maybe four items to give away. Um, and so stay tuned because they'll, they'll be really fun. They'll be definitely our community um, useful. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna, I decided, I went through my beach thing kit and I like it a lot, but um, it's, it's eclectic, you know, it's, it's eclectic. Okay, so yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then there will be three other um, items that I will give away. And one of them will be related to um, snippet roll and stitching and slow stitching, hand stitching, that kind of thing. Fast, medium stitching. <laughs> like I drive my standard. Okay, so today what I'm doing now is I've got some linen um, and doily uh, packs that are going up for sale and I did save some of these for Happy Mails so this is this is just a not even a dent in my au revoir um, it's just a, a part but it's time to part with some of these so I'm gonna try my best to go pretty quickly there's it's not that much but um, I do want to get them out there mm. for you guys so that you can start preparing for Christmas and fall and oh and I may do some woodland themes um, woodland themed small packs not big you know the big grandios um, packs that I put together but smaller ones okay um, what's still available that's headed to my Etsy shop by next weekend if not before because like I said when I get ready to go back into the classroom uh, teaching I, I don't have time to do a lot of videos so I'm moving everything to my Etsy um, shop and so there will be um, a few of the storybook sewing uh, boxes that will go in there um, more gutted books I have more of those and then I'm gonna put in um, some old vintage books that are not gutted uh, again, that would be really good for Christmas um, book altering or that kind of thing. And then I'll also move um, in the Life Magazine, Reader's Digest Magazine, and Neo, not Geo Magazine um, packs for glue bookers. So those will go in there. Um, and keep in mind, um, anything that I... Sorry, guys, my hair is like... <laughs> it's like boing... Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me get it really good so you guys can see it good. <laughs> Here we go. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay. Wait, this is the other side. Got to do the other side. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's out of control. So, okay, with that said, um, I, it's a twist out. I had my hair twisted and then I twisted it out, so I haven't done very much to it lately, but I, I, I will. It, I will wash it too at some point. So, what I was saying is that, um, oh my gosh everything's gonna move into my Etsy store so I can leave it there and you can shop there but just please keep in mind that from now on anything I have that's junk journal or art journal or glue book journal related um, will start here first and give you guys first dibs and then it will go into my um, Etsy store and thank you to the ladies who bought some of the, um, the these ledger like books I, I had these on 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 um, YouTube for you guys but when they went into the Etsy shop <laughs> I had some repeaters thank you thank you so I have mm, 
sort of a lot of those, not too, too many. There, there, there's some still up for grabs, so you just have to keep watch. And if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, and thank you for being here. Um, keep in mind that anything that does not sell here, if it goes into my Etsy shop, it the price on it is raised by five to seven, sometimes more dollars, um, but shipping is always included for everything. Shipping is included. Okay. Um, for international buyers, um, I'm always willing to eat a little bit of cost just to get you my product, so don't be shy about asking me about that. Okay, let me get down to business. What am I peddling today? Well, thank you that you asked. <laughs> today, I am peddling linens and doilies, okay? And these are going to go, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to... It makes it so hard, guys, because I, I, I don't know if I should number these or give them a name. I think I might give them a name. Um, sometimes that makes it a little bit easier. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, here's first up. Here we go. This is so floppy doppy. I mean, it's just like it just wants to fall all over the place. This is an old, beautiful. Oh, and by the way, if there's any little stains or anything like that on my fabrics, it's usually coffee. Um, or avocado dye. Um, I do secure my linens separate from that area, but I have a whole bag of old clothes that I want to chop up, um, scarves and things like that, um, and they are um, sort of uh, um, hold up, stored in a box where underneath where I coffee dye my paper sometimes. Um, and so, yeah, and I'll, I'll let I'll let you know. And then other stains are just old vintage stains. Okay. So this beautiful piece is flawless, no stains. Um, should I measure it? Where's my measurement? I stole it back from my husband because he took it from me. He gave it to me and then took it back. Okay. This one measures, and I'm not going to be able to measure everything, guys, because I want this to go pretty fast. It is what it is. Uh, 16 and a half in diameter. Um, it's a gorgeous, flawless, beautiful round piece and um, I would invite you to pause this video and go search um, Etsy eBay wherever you shop for vintage um, doilies and linens and look at the prices on those not cheap <laughs> not cheap man just it's, it's just not so this one is going to be called let's call this one uh, I'm gonna call it <clears throat> Lacy White Circle, and it's number one. Lacy White Circle, and yes, I'm using circle instead of doily uh, because it'll help me um, if I have to put these in the Etsy store. Okay, and I'll show you uh, here in a little bit how uh, closer. And this one is going to be ten bucks, shipping included. All right, so I'll pack that up here in a second. Here's what it looks like up close. It's so light and, and airy. Um, just a really pretty handcrafted lace uh, doily. Doilyismness. Doilyismness around the edges of this beautiful linen. And this is true linen because pitch, and there's the crease. Just really pretty. Okay, so that is number one. That is called. Um, And I gotta get some baggies here. That's called Lacy White Circle, and it's ten dollars. Shipping is included in all my stuff forever. Well, I shouldn't say forever, but that's just the way I'm doing it these days. Shipping is included. Okay. <clears throat> so there's that one up for grabs. Then we have. Um, this lot here, and this is so pretty. This is a lot of linens and um, lacy thingies. So let's look at this. We've got this beautiful piece. Love this. Look at the shape of that one. Have you ever seen anything shaped like that? Okay, maybe the lighting's better. So at one corner here, it's 
got this beautiful flower. Wouldn't that be pretty snipped off and stitched into something? And these pretty little daisy little flower scallop edges, scallopy edges. And the only corner, um, the interesting thing about this is this is the only corner that has the flower. But look at the shape of it. I'm not going to measure these. I'm sorry. I don't have time for that. So there's one. And this is a pretty um, a linen piece here. And it's got a pretty um, little decorative motif there, if you can see that. Love this. This is so pretty to stitch in these little holes as well. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. <clears throat> My dogs and husband are on break time. That's why it's finally quiet. That's why I decided to do a video now because it's quiet. That's really pretty. Uh, very high quality. All of the, all of my linens and doilies are high quality. Old stuff. And this um, is really pretty. This almost reminds me of, I told you guys a story a long time ago about the time my grandmother, the beer drinker, um, cigarette smoker, um, the one who cussed all the time. I, I just miss her. I love her so much. She was my favorite of, of all my grandmothers and great grands and the matriarchs um, I was close to all of them but she was my favorite um, she tried to go to a Catholic church um, with her second husband third husband <laughs> yeah yeah and her nickname was big but she was about this big she was yay big um, short for big mama uh, we just cut off the mama and just called her big um, <laughs> Anyway, she tried to do a Catholic church one time and go and participate, and she was so anti, anti, anti anything that tries to make people conform, which is probably where I get a lot of my attitude and personality from, um, because we're individuals. We should be able to do what we want to do as long as we're not hurting anybody or committing crime or anything like that. So she was very anti everything that um, made people conform or you know, converted or anything like that. She tried to go to a Catholic church one time with my grandfather guys and wore one of these things on her head, appropriately so, and she came home and pulled it off and she was like, no way, <laughs> no way. And that just wasn't for the Catholic church. She was only doing it because my grandfather, her third husband, was Catholic. But that could be for any church. She just wasn't into it, man, at all, you know? Um, but anyway, that's what this reminds me of. But this is a pretty lacy, um, old vintage um, uh, doily. Table runner, or whatever you call it. Not doily, table runner. So that's really pretty. I'm not going to measure it. I thought I would be able to measure it, but no. There's three. Number four is a stained. Here we go with my stains. These are not coffee stains. These are stains that came with this pillowcase this has been cut um, off the top of it and this fabric here is beautifully perfect for stamping on but look at the edges and this is old stuff I got this at a antique sale look at that isn't that pretty and it's all there let's see if it has a label on it my great-grandmother used to iron all of her um, there we go used to iron um, standard pillowcase New York Wamsuda home products um, iron all of her um, pillowcases so I picked this up at an antique store um, at a thrift store and I just love it because of the edges there which is so pretty and so beautiful so that's piece number one two three four five one two three four sorry there I go counting I'll count them in front of you guys before I close this one out. Oh, here's another piece here. This is pretty doily. This is old, vintage. This not so much, but this is. But all of these came from a, 
uh, um, some of these came from an antique warehouse um, that I've taken you guys and some of them came from thrift stores this is Hannah crocheted the little linen piece here in the middle it's got a little yellow stain there that you barely can't see that's number five and then this is old stuff really pretty vintage no tags no labels that's one of the reasons why I say let's look at the label in the pillowcase because you know you just you just know but it's so pretty and so worthy of saving this little piece here is for like a little table um, to sit something on I think it's so beautiful um, and it's flawless it's got a little rounding edge here straight edge here tie off here where the crocheter has tied it off and it's very light and very airy very pretty so that's number six and this eyelet piece here, which has no stains on it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I just love these kinds of linens um, and uh, table uh, placements. They're just so beautiful to sit things on. Um, but of course, guys, we know they're really pretty for junk journals. Okay? <laughs> they just are. <laughs> We just dolly them up even more than what their original intent is for. Isn't that beautiful? And let me show you a close-up of that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm trying to get some pictures here while I'm showing you. So that's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this beautiful piece is sort of a beigey um, beautiful this guys you know what this is like remember in my stitchery kit I mean my um, my snippet roll uh, slow stitching kits that pretty colorful I still have some of that left let me show it to you hang on okay oh yeah I'm on I'm filming I think remember this guys from the snippet roll kits let me show you up close. Isn't that pretty? So this piece here is um, like that. Look how beautiful that is. Um, there we go. Isn't that pretty? And see through, and then those those places where you can stitch into and around, already sort of marked out for you just gorgeous gorgeousness okay okay this one has no other um, patterns or motifs except for that one piece there wouldn't that be a lovely pocket in a vintage journal but look at the scalloped edges even these would be really lovely just beautiful 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 linens um, ready to be arted up okay so, oh God, I got, okay, this is the only lot I think I have. I, I can get beyond counting like three pieces, but when it's seven or eight, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, I can count. <laughs> okay. Um, and then this is a pretty hanky and look at it guys. It's so delicate Some of the stuff I just for forget that I have I I'm not kidding you Isn't that pretty so delicate? And the ends of this one it looks like someone took an old hanky and decided to crochet around the edges There we go isn't that pretty? No stains. Totally, totally, totally flawless. Wants to be loved. Arted up. And then the last piece. Um, so there's nine pieces in here. This one has a J on it um, that's sort of machine stitched. I think that's machine stitched in there. Yes, I would say so. And then it's got pretty uh, crochet trim around, hand crochet trim around the edges as well. 
so that's really pretty too. Um, a lot of these pieces I um, have sort of hoarded um, to avocado dye. If you've never ordered an avocado uh, cheesecloth pack for me, um, I usually, as a thank you, include lots and lots of pretty um, avocado and coffee dye um, laces and things like this. So I'll just coffee dye, you know, I'll just find um, these beautiful pieces, coffee dye, avocado dye, and they turn out so pretty. Um, I would show you that bucket, but I'm not going to give all the all all of my good secret um, stuff look away. <laughs> look away, look away. Okay, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I lied. There's ten pieces instead of nine. That's why I like to recount things because I start talking, you know. Y'all know how I am. Okay, this one is going, what are we going to call this one? I think this should be called 10, I'm just going to call it 10 pack laces and linens. Uh, no, sorry. Well, it is laces because there's laces. I'm just going to call it 10 pack laces, linens, lace, linen, and doilies. That's what we'll call that one. That's number two, bag number two. Let me write that down for y'all. Stick it in there. So this is number two, bag number two, and it is laces, linens, and doilies. Lot of 10. So you get 10 pieces in there. And this is gonna be, um, I think I'm gonna go $28 on that one. Okay. It's in there. Grab it while you can. <laughs> Get it while the going's good and good. And. Okay. Then I've got, um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I have this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is a gorgeous, um, hang on, let me get a sip of water. Oh my goodness, it's so hot here, guys. It's not even funny. Okay, this is a gorgeous uh, table um, cover. It's got some stains right there. There's a tag. Simtex. <laughs> it says, made right in America. <laughs> That's what it says, I kid you not made right here in America okay it doesn't say the here <laughs> right here okay um, this is in really good condition um, it feels like cotton it's got I, I'm not gonna measure it and I'm sorry now if you um, are interested in this and you want me to measure it for you I will but right now I don't have time for that or the space for it. Not right now. It's got some gorgeous flowers on there. Very, very, very pretty. There's a little stain there. That probably can wash out. Looks like it just sat on something. There's a little stain there. And just to be clear uh, for newbie people, uh, new subbies, um, if you're not accustomed to purchasing um, I don't know, fabrics and things like that for junk journaling. In our community, we welcome stains. Okay, well, not all stains, but <laughs> we welcome, for the most part, <laughs> we welcome stains. Stains are beautiful. Um, and they, they just give, you know, a little bit of, um, add to the characteristics of a piece. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that. You can't see those little flower belly looking things in there. These that well can you <clears throat> can you see that okay so
So I'm going to call this one floral tablecloth. All right, that's what we're going to call that one. This is number bag number three. What fit in there? Oh, I might have to get a bigger one. There we go. So we're going to call this floral tablecloth. And it is bag number three. And the price on this one, um, I'm going to go $28 on that one. Shipping included. Don't forget that. Shipping is included. Shipping is included. Shipping is included. laughing Tahira I hear you <laughs> okay next <laughs> is oh gosh guys this is the only Christmas stuff I have boom that's all I got <laughs> all my Christmas stuff is gone it's all gone so let me just show you this is beautiful Oh my god. I wanted to save some of this to put in happy mail, but I can I can Oh my gosh, I can do some other stuff Christmas happy mail um if I want to. It's not impossible. I'm going to keep that to put on my thank you tags. Um so oh my gosh, guys, my box for my cluster thank you tag tops, it's overflowing. It's 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 crazy. It's insane, really. Okay, let me turn this the right way. So this is table, uh, not table, this is fabric. It's beautiful. It's got pine cones, holly berries, um, candles, ivy. Um, I don't know what you call these guys. What are the, these here? What are those? Christmas blooms? Christmas blossoms? I don't know. Anyway, it's so beautiful. All right, and it's a lot of it. Now, let me see. And it's in really good condition. No stains that I could see. I haven't really unfolded this wholeheartedly all the way. It's just gorgeous. And this is made in, this is called the Woodrow. Let me show you the thing here because y'all are, y'all are high maintenance uh, uh, junk journal makers. Junk journal makers are just like, that. y'all are so sassy and all up in the art world doing your art and just being all arty <laughs> and sassy like elbowing other other genres of art out of the way <laughs> oh my god it's crazy okay look this is called Woodrow Studio London England that's what that is so I have to show you that because this was a Christmas collection because how y'all are naughty junk journal makers junk journal artists okay so there's that and guys when I tell you it's a lot it's a lot um let's do this sorry I'm kind of hitting you and tapping the thing here but oh my god I'm gonna fold it okay let me let's measure it this way just trust me from here to here <clears throat> of the measurements it is approximately 27 and 5 8 and this way is and that's all double and folded guys by 10 so all you math people that can do all those kinds of measurements and stuff like that have at it you just go on and go for it <laughs> call Nick she'll help you out <laughs> She'll help you out, but she'll say she's not a math person, but mm -mm, I don't believe her at all. 
she's a little wizard genius okay there's that and then I've got this one polka dot beautiful red oh my god this red is so gorgeous um, flawless no stains fuzzies yes we have fuzzies because nothing is without fuzzies for the most part um, and it's pretty on this side there's you know there's the back side and then there's that really beautiful true red this is a gorgeous red polka dot little tiny white polka dots and the edging on it is like that okay all right then I have so many buttons Oh my God, those are going in Happy Mail. By the way, everybody get ready for buttons and Happy Mail <laughs> because it's button overload. And and I I haven't just started buying buttons. I've I've had them for like yeah. So here are two packs of old vintage buttons, and these are gorgeous. They're on their original card. They are vintage and still stitched in on their original card, and they're just beautiful. And so perfect for Christmas journals okay so this is going to be pack what are we going to call this let's call this one let's call this one hang on guys um, we'll call it Christmas just Christmas pack holiday pack <clears throat> uh oh guys look what I did sorry oh no I pushed that card too hard and look at it, it cracked sorry about that but you know yeah heavy hands sometimes okay so there's that that's so pretty this is the only Christmas thing I have don't ask me for any more Christmas stuff because I ain't got it unless it's children's books <clears throat> boy my husband made some guacamole Oh my God, and I'm still clearing my throat from eating um, the, he put serrano peppers in it, chopped them up really fine with the, the usual avocados, onions, tomato, um, cilantro, um, but he put serrano peppers in it, guys, and I'm still like, <clears throat> <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, okay, this is going to be uh, pack number bag number four and I'm just calling this I'm gonna call it holiday pack and um, it's bag number four I'm being very detailed here on purpose because I I don't do lives um, and maybe later in life I will but I'm I just don't have a lot of time guys anyway y'all heard my sorry sad story anyway holiday pack bag number four and we're gonna um, I think I'm going to do $35 on this one. 35 bucks. That's a good deal. Old buttons, all that fabric, you can make a lot of Christmas journals with that. Cover some fabrics, put in lines, the insides of books. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can. Okay, that's number um, four. Alright, what's next? How am I doing for time? Okay, I might have to stop here in a little bit and then I'll, I'll come back. Um, we'll just keep going. I'm not, I'm going to do the whole thing, the whole linens, doily lace collection here now. Okay, I've got two of these and these are going to be separate. So here's one. This is hand crocheted with tulips. Beautiful and flawless. So you've got um, this beautiful forest uh, spearmint green experiment green more so than forest green I would say and um, it's got these beautiful tulips here um, where the artist uh, stitching artist crocheting artist um, has formed those in there isn't that pretty and this is old these are old okay let me fold this up let me show you all of it because it's pretty long what I love about this is how you can chop these up it's pretty long guys um, so I folded it twice there's two folds okay and then I'm going to fold it again 
why don't I measure it like that and then I'll fold it again see if I had grandchildren who were smart in math my niece my nieces and nephews are smart in math but if I had grandkids and they're old enough to be my grandkids which is why I whine and cry but really I'm okay <laughs> sort of not a hundred percent I really did want grandkids of my own but just saying <laughs> It's not going to happen, and I'm okay with that, people. Uh, really, I am. Um, this is uh, 24 and 3 eighths. So you'll have to double that, guys. See? Grandkids that are smart in math, they could do that for you real fast. And then you've got 8 and 3, 4. Okay? So I'm going to fold it again and just do the math on that one. So this is one. Um, I think grandkids are just the best. That's the fun part of life. My daughter was so, oh my gosh, she was so rotten and spoiled in the best way, guys. Not like rotten and spoiled, like put everything in the hands and here you go, go get be busy yourselves. Not like that kind of spoil. She was just loved on all the time. And I, one of my postal clerks, Oh my God, he, he he has his first grandbaby. He's probably about my age. And um, one of his daughters, it's his first grandbaby. He has two daughters and a son. And one of his daughters just had, oh my God, guys, every time I go in the post office, he has to show me videos of the grandbaby and grandson. And he is the cutest thing. All the grandbabies are cute. <laughs> All of them are so cute. Okay, why am I talking about grandkids? Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, if I had grandkids to help me measure things out a lot faster, although I could get my nieces and nephew, don't get it wrong, but they're older now. They're, you know, they're like older junior high and high school, and they're whiny and worried about what they look like and this and that and all their friends, and so it's like, yeah, okay. Oh, I am just the auntie, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> no headaches, but I do worry about them. Okay. So this is going to be, um, what, do I, what, have, what are we calling this? I'm going to call this uh, green beige, green beige tulip. Green beige doily. Yeah, green beige doily tulip. <laughs> I'm going to make these dramatic. Oh my god, so when you guys get ready to order on them, it won't be a problem at all. This is bag number five. <laughs> and I'm going to do uh, $10 for these each. There's one there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still got um, guacamole in my throat. Compliments to my hub. Who is knocked out with the dogs. They are sleeping hard, which is why I'm so happy. Oh my God, and I had coffee, and I'm so happy because they're sleeping. I'm getting stuff done. Yay! <laughs> Here's the other one. Let's count how many tulips are on these. This one has a little fuzzy duzzy in there. We'll get rid of that, although the fan might blow it back over this way. It's okay. They have like one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 tulips in there, okay? I don't know if I show these up close or not. They're, they're in really beautiful condition, guys. They're gorgeous. All right, so there are those. And this is gonna be bag number, uh, six. <clears throat> Excuse me for clearing my throat on camera like that. I wonder if that's longer than the other one. Why didn't that fold like that? Should we measure this? Let's measure. Huh. That's interesting. I don't know what the, I forgot what the measurements were for that other one, like 20 so This one is longer, no wonder. This one is um, about 30. Well, it's folded twice. Okay, let's measure it like that. I think this one is longer, guys. Yeah, 15 and a half. This one's longer by eight and three eighths. 
Okay. That happens when you're a crocheter. <laughs> Sometimes things are longer than others. <laughs> Just turns out that way. God forbid when you make baby booties. All right, let's see. Let's get a bag for that one. I'm going to force this puppy in there. All right. So this is number two. This one's a little bit bigger. <clears throat> I don't know how much. You guys have to do the math yourselves. I don't know. I don't really care about that. Kind of thing. So this is going to be Green Bay Joyland Tulip bag number six. Green Beige Doily Tulip number six. <clears throat> bag number six. And this one is also going to be $10. Ah, let's make this one 12. It's got a little bit more heft to it, a little bit more length to it. So we're going to say $12 for that one. All right, to be fair. Okay, next, my little thingies don't want to go in the recycle because the fan's blowing them back at me. Okay, this one is solo. <clears throat> it's a pretty linen piece. It's got some little knots in it and other kind of little decorative doodahs and I don't know, it just has so many things going on. It's really pretty. Um, hang on guys, I've got to put the afro back up because it's hot. Okay, so it's got little knots here and then look at the different stitches there patterns. So we've got double crocheting and oh my gosh this is really pretty here. Lacing I would say that is. And then uh, maybe all of this is lacing. And this is no stains. If, it ha if anything has a stain I'll let you know but this has no well here's a little something right there. <clears throat> if you can see that little something. But we love those. We love the somethings on there. They're beautiful. All right. So that is going to be number, bag number seven. That's going to be bag number seven. And I, I'm not measuring that, guys. I'm sorry. Let's call this one. What do we call this one? Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's a little stain, a little fuzz, and then look, there's a little stain right there. <coughs> I'm not sure what to call this. I think I'm going to call this knotted laced table runner. Knotted lace table runner. Bag number seven, and for this one, I'm going to charge. Um, let's see. There's another stain there. I'm seeing these just now with you. Can you see it? It's very faint, but it, there's a little stain there. I'm going to go eight dollars on this one with shipping. Okay. Bag this puppet up. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to clear my throat so much, guys, on here. But, and then I told you guys while I'm preparing for the next one, I'm going to start. Ragweed is um, going to be in the air, so I'm going to do some sneezing here and some more throat clearing and all of that. Um, but right now, my throat clearing is due to my husband's guacamole. <laughs> that's what that's about. But um, the air is kind of getting, yeah, it's, it's not. It's still summer, you know what I'm saying? But I can feel that fall starting to slip in. Okay, this is another flawless piece. This one, minus the strings, is stunning. And it's old. This is old. Look how floppy-doppy the lace is. Can you see how floppy that is? 
just wants to lay down. It's not stiff. Let me show you a stiff doily. Hold on. This doily right here, not part of the get up sale today. It's stiff. When you when you drop it, it doesn't really like it's not floppy doppy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's kind of like if you stand it up like that, it's kind of like that, you know? And it's beautiful. It, it doesn't take away from the beauty of it. It's just the texture of it. And it's old. It's vintage. But it's just not as, you know, like this stuff here. This just falls out of your hand like air. It, it's just gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> but all of them are just, just beautiful. So, anyway, this is a really big, true, uh, round table runner. Here's the center of it. There's the little pointy sides of it there, if you can see that. So it's got some little, little tiny flaws here and there, as expected with anything old and vintage. Um, but look at the crochet work on that, the lacing work on that. Isn't that beautiful? It's just stunning, gorgeous, eloquent. Look at that. There's a little hole there that adds to the beauty. There's a lot of ladies who look at that and go, yum. F and yum. <laughs> I won't name names. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you guys see Rachel at Roxy Creations? I love her. I'm obsessed with her. My obsession is still ongoing. I, I'm not, I haven't stopped obsessing over her yet. Her work. Um, she made a traveler's journal um, the other day. Um, and oh my God. I just love the way she puts you know like these kinds of things on top of an old vintage book cover it's just I don't know what it is about that I like I don't know I have no idea but I just uh, I just love that it's so cool okay so this is round now let's see can I measure this let's look at it let's investigate because I don't look at these things closely until there's a stain there <clears throat> can you guys see that hang on guys let me clear my throat off camera okay um, there's a little stain there. And then, um, it just, yeah, because I never investigate these things until I'm with you guys. A little tiny, itty bitty something there. Okay, let's flip it over. If you want me to measure this, um, before you purchase it, if you're interested in purchasing it, there's some little, little tiny minimal stains. Um, just let me know but it's it's gorgeous my great-grandmother had one of those old round wooden tables that had the three legs um, you know the, the 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 table stem and then the three prong legs at the bottom at the base oh my god so pretty oh Lord have mercy those tables were so pretty my great auntie sold all of that stuff I had no say in it not in that part of it Okay, so if you're interested in this, let me know, and I will measure it for you. But this is beautiful, stains and all. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at all that pretty um, yumminess there that you could work with and play with. Just gorgeous. Okay, so let me put this in a bag. Um, let's do this larger one. This one's going to be bag number eight. I'm almost done guys. Uh oh. I might have to stop here and <laughs> come back. My video's flashing at me. Okay guys, I got cut off there with my phone. <laughs> okay, where was I? Where were we? Alright, this one, this is the round. I just left it the way it was. Oh, and here's the sticky. I decided while the videos were um, downloading, uploading, um, this one is going to be called Large Round Lace Table Linen Runner. Okay. And this is bag number eight. And this one is going to go for 40 bucks. All right. So there's that one. It's in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful condition. Let me know if you need measurements. No problem. If you're interested, just email me. 
All right, and then next we have this beautiful piece here. And I love, love, love um, when I find these. I love to save these and put these in my coffee dyed thank you when people buy my coffee dyed paper. I love cutting pieces of this up and putting it in there as part of a larger thank you um, a pack. So that one's really beautiful. And this one also is flawless. It's got um, hand crocheted scallop edges. It's vintage, it's old, it's light and airy. Um, it's got these, these are really interesting, the shapes of these, because I wanna say that they're medallion, but they're not. The next one is sort of medallion. These have, ha they've got the square like, but rounded corners um, on them, and it's just really pretty, just gorgeous. Um, so there's one part of it, no stains. There's two parts of it, three and four. It's really, really a nice piece, and it's really long. Let me see if I can measure it for you guys. I'll fold it in half. And it is, and you'll have to double this up, do the math. Remember, I don't have any young people around here to do the math for me, people. Um, and I would totally use them for that because I don't, I don't do math very well. I mean, I can, but I just, I'm lazy. I'm a lazy mather. Okay, it's 24 and a half inches by, I could have the hubs do it right, but he's busy. He's grouchy and busy because he's got to, <laughs> he's got to build stuff, hand make stuff, man. <laughs> Hands down for me, I, there's nothing I can do. I can hold stuff and, you know, go find things to pass it to him if he's having a hard time holding up something or this or that, but that's it. This is 16, 16 inches exactly. So there's that one. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to call this one. What should we call this one? It's so beautiful. I just love this so much. It's so pretty. Let's call this one um, the rounded medallion. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's call it the square medallion. That's what we're going to call that. Okay. The square medallion. Uh oh, my mom's calling me. I'm almost done. I'll pause here and call her on my husband's phone. So that one's, guys, that one is going to be called the square medallion. Okay? And this is bag number nine. The square medallion. <laughs> oxymoron I guess and this one I'm gonna um, I think I'm gonna do 30 bucks for that one guys shipping included there's a lot of fodder there okay that's number nine I know my handwriting is totally like my not like what when I write my thank you notes out it just depends on what kind of writing utensil I have, honestly. I write depending on what kind of pencil or pen I have in my hands. Okay, and then, and then, in Tonsies, we have this one. And this is a true medallion. I think a lot of ladies score this one, this kind, this style. Um, no flaws or anything like that. Um, it's in really good condition. A lot of you I've seen have um, something like this. Even if you use it for your desk decor or when you're making a video, um, these are just really beautiful. There's so much, so much here. There's so much here. I, I can't even count all the medallions in this. This is a really large piece. It's gorgeous no flaws no stains can I measure this one I think I can what I'm gonna do is fold it twice let me show it to you like that first
Okay, tons of these little pieces. This is my favorite, the edges. And I've literally taken one um, similar to this, a little bit thicker than this one. This is more vintage than... This one is what I've cut up and put into thank you packs before. When I um, do my coffee dye thank you packs, when they, people buy my coffee dye paper, I put little pieces like that in there. Sometimes I don't know, guys, if, you know, if it's a repeat buyer, I know. But if it's not, if it's a new customer, I don't know if they're a junk journal or they must be. But sometimes I've had people um, use my coffee dye paper for calligraphy. So that's really pretty. Um, but anyway, this is a little bit thicker than this one. This is a lot thinner, but it's that same sort of pattern. Um, that medallion kind of pattern. Okay, so let's measure this one. It is... Oh my gosh, if I can get it together here. I might have to pause, guys, and call my mom on my husband's phone to see which what's going on she's doing fine it's just that whenever she calls me I I need to respond so oh my goodness I don't know if I'm gonna be okay let's fold it there's it's folded twice two times let's fold it again there we go so that's four so one two three four okay Y'all do the math. <laughs> do it. Do it, do it, do it. Because I ain't. I ain't gonna. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where's my... Mm, 19 and an eighth maybe just 19 probably and this way and that's by you know fold it uh, into fours and then 19 and an eighth that way all right so obviously this way it's it's longer so you'll have to do 19 and an eighth times four and then this way um, it's just 19 and an, and an eighth I would go with 19 just you know um, so there's that one so this one I'm going to call it um, I guess I'm just going to call this the medallion. This is bag number 11. Nope, bag number 10. There it is, ready to ship. Number 10, simply the medallion. There's no squares, there's no questions, there's no ifs, there's no ands, there's no buts, nothing. It's just the medallion. <laughs> oh my god. I was going to say something, but I'm keeping it strictly business today, sort of. Okay, and this one I think, um, guys, I think this one I'm going to do for 35 $35. Shipping included, okay? The medallion. That's number 10. Alright. And then... In Francis, as Don Cheto would say, um, this gorgeous, oh my god. <sighs> this is so pretty. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's got this beautiful, um, um, sort of Egyptian-like pattern on it that you can't see. Um, there is a pattern there. There's a couple of stains there. This is a table uh, table cover, tablecloth. 
and it's really heavy linen I mean it's just gorgeous the feel of this this would be good for the outside of a book it would be good for the lining of the inside of a book there's flowers florals there you can't see the pattern very well it would totally one of the reasons why I sort of sat on it for a little while is obviously avocado dye or coffee dye you could do that to it um, it's just beautiful it's just so pretty um, there are some fruits uh, flowers wait let me see what is that can you guys see that you can't see it it's got these pretty patterns on it that again are sort of Egyptian like if you can see that just really pretty um, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, uh, and, and the quality. This is quality linen. Totally. Not that many stains except for the ones that I showed you. Very, very heavy. So, you know, I'll have to take into account for this one, guys. The heaviness of it. It's really heavy, this, this piece. Um, and so pretty. Oh, it is stark, stark, stark white. Stark white. If there ever was a more pure white, it's this. This is it, and it's you know it's that that's what it is. It's just beautiful uh, for coffee staining, avocado dyeing, that kind of thing. Um, just really gorgeous, high quality linen with fuzzies and threads, of course. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to measure that. If you need me to measure it, let me know. I don't want to, but let me know. I don't have time for that, guys. I really don't. I really, 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 really do not. Um, let me get a larger bag for this one because it is very heavy um, and such good quality. That's what I really like about it. So I'm going to call this Stark White Linen Tablecloth, Pure Linen Tablecloth. Lots of fodder for that one. You could do so much with that. You could even line like uh, winter journals with that. I think it would be really pretty. Okay, where's my... Okay, here we go. So I'm going to call this one. This is bag number 11. And it's called Stark Pure White Linen Tablecloth. And this one, I'm, I, I got to do at least um, $42 on that one. At least. $42. Bucks. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. There's that one. All right. Let's move on. I'm almost to the end. Almost to the end. I have this last. Um, well, oh my gosh, no it's not. Oh dear. I've got to have some under here. Okay, well, here we go. So, you have this beautiful piece here, embroidery. And this one is um, sort of navy blue, purple, green, pinks. Um, those colors. And there's the edging of it very pretty very pretty very vintage and this is um, let's see let's see if it has any marks on it okay I think these marks are, yeah, these are marks that can come out. They're probably like little fold marks or something. This is hand stitched because, and the way I uh, know that it's hand stitched is because of the knots. Um, I featured a lot of pieces like this, whoops, a lot of pieces like this in my um, stitchery kits uh, last year. Was it last year? I don't remember. Last year, year before, I can't remember. Anyway, um, these this is hand stitching, and you know that it's not machine stitch because of the knotting. See that where the embroiderer 
um, has tied uh, off the knots. Okay, um, let's look at how long this one is. It's really pretty. There's how it goes. So let's fold it in half. And these measurements are approximations. They're not accurate. Uh, uh, 100% accurate. I'm not claiming them to be 100% accurate. Alright, so there's, there it is in half with threads and fuzzies, of course. And some glitter right there that you can't see. <laughs> um, this measures... 19 and 3 4 by 13 and an eighth roughly very very roughly okay so that's a pretty um, dresser uh, accent table accent I think it's so pretty so that one I'm gonna call number uh, it's number 11 I'm sorry number 12 number 12 is the bag number and this one I'm just gonna call lavender blue ribbon table runner lavender blue ribbon table runner and this one I'm gonna let go for $10 All right. I think that's a really good deal for that one um, as well. All of these are a really good deal, honestly. They're just so beautiful and they're in such um, pristine condition. These things make me very, very happy, which is why I enjoyed so much putting together my my um, stitchery kits and the snipper roll kits as well those were fun too let's see if this will fit in here yeah and look at that it's got a little little snag there but we're going to cut it up anyway right that's what we do <laughs> that is what we do <laughs> in the junk journaling world Snip, snip, cut, cut. Divide, divide, use, use, art, art. Okay, there's that one. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. I didn't put in the um, ticket thingy here. Hold on. Let me stick it in there. I love doing this on camera so you guys can see how I struggle sometimes. And I'm not really struggling, but I am. I like it. I enjoy it. That's number 12. Lavender blue ribbon table runner ten dollars then I have another one here and this one is hand stitched as well very pretty it's got lavender pinks light 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 pas pas uh, um, pastel blues and then this blue ribbon as well. And these dark violet purples um, too. And look at the little knots that this um, embroiderer has put through the, the flowers. Those little knots there. Can you see that? She's put one in every little flower. Are those daisies? What are they? Looks like she didn't know how to do the French knot maybe. Not that she didn't know how to do it. Y'all know what I'm saying. She just, this seems like it's a little bit more simpler than doing the French knots um, and that kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it's, I, I have no idea, but look at the beautiful back. I love sometimes the backs are more than the fronts. Not more than, but just as equally as the fronts. And then here this, here's the edging. This is a really nice um, linen. Let's measure it. It's also got some little marks and stains here, and here, and here. But 
little flowers in the center, clusters, flower clusters, and then there's another little stain there. Okay, so let's measure this one. Okay. This measures, and I'm measuring to the end of one of the scallops, 19 and 5 eighths, roughly, <laughs> by 13 and 5 eighths, roughly. <laughs> okay, um, so that's, that's pretty cool. And this one I'm going to let go for $8. And let's call that one Sorry guys, I'm wrapping on camera Let's call this one, um, what do we call this one? It's almost like the other one. Let's call it, it's bag number 13. And I'm going to call this one Lavender Blue Ribbon Table Runner number 2. Lavender Blue Ribbon table runner number two <laughs> really oh I almost cussed again which is fine I do that all the time on my videos but I don't want to cuss today I'm not in the mood for cussing um and this one I'm gonna do for eight bucks okay lavender blue ribbon lavender blue ribbon table runner number two eight dollars oh my god my dogs are in and out it's so hot today oh it's so hot guys wow it's so hot oh my gosh but um we're supposed to get some rain soon i don't know when but we're just yeah we're just coping everybody's just coping all right hold on let me check the door okay everybody's good they just woke up guys the dogs did and they're kind of in and out now so I have to make sure to keep that door closed Ooh, because they let all the cold air out okay this next set is a lot of three pieces so there's that one and these are gorgeous linens there's that one this one these are table linen uh, um, hand towels um, hand towels table pieces I yeah uh, let's see, this one is, hang on guys, I'm making sure that this is not, yeah, it is two. Okay, so there's four in here. And this is a lot of, of four, and it's the same. Hand um, stitched, hand embroidered, stitched, all of that. This is just pure linen um, with a pattern, so there's that lot, okay. Um, let me show you these two pieces um, first. This is, I think that's supposed to be a B. Can you guys see that okay? Oh my goodness, sorry. There we go. Um, and there's a bouquet of flowers and another little bee there. This is really fine, exquisite, quality linen. No stains hand stitched whoops sorry no stains hand stitched there's the little knots you can see those there okay just really pretty pieces there's that one this little bee has some green in him This has a little blue, looks like a little blue ink mark or where it's set up somewhere right there. Just a light little blue inking there. 
or something. And then there's hand knots there, so you can see it's all hand stitched. I just love hand stitching. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. I love, love, love watching the videos of ladies hand stitching things. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to start and be repetitive. Y'all heard me. <laughs> my obsessions. And then this piece here is a table, what do you call this, hand towel linen hand towel and this is also hand stitch and that's pretty now had I found this before I did my um, yellow de stash kit I would have put this in there too but guys I have so much stuff it's just it's crazy it looks like the artist just I don't know if she just or he just made these patterns up like that I'm, I'm not sure if they just made the patterns up or what because there are little flowers here and you barely can see them. See there's one there and there, there. See that? Can you guys see that? They're little flowers. But it looks like this person, this artist took it upon herself or himself to just go ahead and stitch um, a pattern of choice. I love that. Independence. <laughs> Nonconformist. <laughs> I love it <laughs> oh my god okay there is a little little tiny little stain right there you can see that <clears throat> and then um, and I'll put these in a larger one just because you know, and these are this linen is so quality, guys. Pinch. There's the crease. And then this one is just a stark pure white um, piece. I love this one. <gasps> Why? Because it's quality. It's stiff and starchy and linen-y and uh, doesn't have a lot of um, you know bedazzle miss going on, but it's just pretty. You can stitch through these holes, through these holes here. Um, this little motif strip across here, that's the only pattern on it. But it's just that beautiful quality linen. There's where uh, maybe a old safety pin has, has rusted there or something like that. Uh, just gorgeous. Love this. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, so there's one, two, three and four okay and this is a lot of four so this is going to be pack number um let's see here number 14 14 and then I guess we'll just call this um I'm going to use this one because it's so unique and call it hand um linen hand towel linen hand towel hmm I'm gonna call this one embroidery lot that I, 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 I don't have time to think right now <laughs> I gotta save my thinking power for my kids for my babies so I'm gonna call it um let's see yeah, just call it embroidery um, lot of four. But we'll understand because you guys are watching that this one is not um, embroidered. Okay? But these two are. Uh, three are. Oh my God. Okay. And this uh, set I will let go for $10. Yeah, ten dollars. I think that's really good for that lot. Okay, love these little bees. Wouldn't those be cute as tabs <laughs> in a bee journal? So cute. Okay, so cute. Let's see. Let me get one of these. Um. Yeah, that'll work. My doggies are awake, they're active. 
They're ready to be fed here in a moment, and I'm just about done. My husband can feed them. Um, they're spoiled, guys. I made them scramble eggs and uh, with a little, just a little bit of cheddar cheese, not white cheese. We don't give them white cheese. We give them cheddar cheese, but not very often. It's a treat. Um, but scrambled eggs and a little bit, like one strip of bacon for each, on top of their croquetas. <laughs> so they're not—they're not princesses. We're, we're not. No. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody around here a prince or a queen or a king or any of that. We're all in it together, man. Okay, that's sorry, guys. That's number fourteen bag uh, for ten dollars. Alright, and then, oh my goodness, lastly, for for big, you know, linen piece, and then I have one other thing, and then I'm going to let you guys go, because this is, this is a long video. That's likely where lives are probably more beneficial, but I don't have time for that right now. This piece here is stunning. That's all I have to say. It's flawless. It's linen. It's got these gorgeous ecru um, lace corners it's a big ass tablecloth <laughs> vintage tablecloth it's huge um, and so I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even try and um, measure this on here but I do want to show it to you and feature it um, so that you can see how gorgeous it is it's so regal and um, pristine and stately it's just beautiful all the corners have this gorgeous ecru um, pattern here and it's linen it's vintage let me see if I could get it up a little bit closer than that so there we go Uh-oh, my video just split, but oh well, I got time. I'm almost done. So it's got these really pretty um, ecru patterns on it. Oh, I just love this. I think it's so pretty. I've parted out my great Amy's um, tablecloth that was really hoity-toity, and I, I've avocado dyed it, and it goes into some avocado packs when people buy my cheesecloth. It's so pretty. It's the it's the piece that has like a little um, gold, silver, little gold and silver line throughout, and it's so quality and so beautiful. Um, I don't put it in every single package. Just you know, I just randomly pick things. Okay, back to this one. So this is this is gorgeous linen, and then look at the edges of it. It almost feels like I don't know something like Grecian or something like that, right? It's got that kind of feel to it so pretty look at the little lacing there that would be so beautiful um, dolled up in a journal and then this is true hardcore linen pinch it and there's the crease um, let's I'll show you a few more parts of it sections of it uh, it's just gorgeous oh I love this so much um, and these these there's no flaws there's none um, you know and then in the center you've got oh my gosh these beautiful um, pieces here patterns here you can see that can't get my hands under there there we go and then this beautiful pattern here and here and who God only knows what's at the center okay but look at these edges talk about slow stitching fodder like for a long time um, just gorgeous isn't that pretty and such quality such beautiful quality um, linen and it feels good um, it's got one little stain here right there and the rest of it is just beautiful it's so pretty 
just flipping through this makes me so happy nostalgic and happy I'm working on a space I told you guys I'm kind of working on um, some space where I can um, show you things uh, better and um, up close even more so and oh my god this is so big guys I'm wait hold on I don't want to knock my camera over <laughs> because I might a space that's going to be a lot larger or bigger so that I can move, maneuver things around but it's just really pretty there's the pattern there And these, and these, these lines here, right here, are crocheted in there. Can you see that? This is an off, sort of a um, off-white. I guess what old people would, old designers would say, eggshell white, ivory color, um, that kind of thing. It's just beautiful. Okay. And um, I don't know what size it is. If you need me to measure it, ask. I'm, I'm gonna go like, oh my god. <laughs> Because I don't lie to y'all. I tell you the truth. I'm going to be like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, but it'll be fine. I'll measure it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's like people that don't like taking pictures for Etsy and posting Etsy listings because you just have to go through so much. But guys, and I'm talking to y'all and myself, when you're in, um, you know, the business when you're selling you you got to sell it man i mean that's you just got to do it there's no other way around it it's impossible <laughs> you just got to do it man um okay there's that i don't mind doing the etsy listings uh sometimes if i'm not really busy i don't mind but sometimes i procrastinate on them because i don't feel like it like a lot of of uh, sellers okay so i'm going to fold this back up i flipped and flopped it around enough to where <laughs> there we go so that one's going to have to go in one of my larger um, bags do I have one? another one. Oh my gosh guys these are my these are my coffee coffee dyed paper bags that I'm using here so might have to order some more of those I'm on a budget during summertime as most of you know I can't spend hardly any money during summer because I don't work. I don't get a paycheck. Everything I get comes from Etsy or peddling here and then um, my husband's um, work. So, yeah. I can't spend. I'm on a spend freeze and I hate it. Oh, but when I start. And, and of course, too, I'm saving a lot for my for student journals and stuff. So, there we go. So, that's in there really got to make sure I save for, for those guys um, journals which is what I've been doing and I think I'm almost ready for like May um, yeah so that's kind of fun but I can't buy anything for myself I can't spend like any money for me it's like it's terrible it's horrible sort of <laughs> okay so I'm gonna call this one um, eloquent Elegant, eloquent, elegant. <laughs> I'm in love. Oh my gosh, I remember years ago saying, I'm in love with such and such and such. And it's a thing now, which is cool. Um, I'm going to call this eloquent, elegant, large ivory <laughs> table runner. And you guys will have to, you know, when if you want one of these, you know, just probably the bag number is going to be the easiest, but this is going to be bag number 15. Um, it'll be easier, but, you know, I'm going to spell these all out in the description box below for you. This one is going to go for 60 bucks. It's a must. It's beautiful. And um, it's useful and it's fodder, uh, bookmaking fodder, but it's also you can use it like for real, for real, for real use it. I wouldn't though. I wouldn't use anything like this. I have dogs and 
I live in an area where there's cows and pigs and dust everywhere. <laughs> this is just not my thing, man. For my house, uh-uh. Nope. But for my great auntie or my great grandmother, they would definitely use something like that. Okay, that's number 15. It's called Eloquent Elegant Large Ivory Table Runner. Should be tablecloth. Tablecloth. $60. Okay, for that one. So there's that. And then the last thing I have quickly, oh dear, is a lot of, well, it's not a lot. It's, um, these are some of the, one of the ladies contacted me that bought my snippet roll kits and she asked me if I would put together some of the lace packs, the vintage lace packs packs, um, snippet pieces that came along with those snippet roll kits, um, snippet roll slash slow stitching kits, and so I put some of those together. Um, I had a few leftovers um, from the rose and the, um, the uh, eyelet uh, packs, and so what I did is I put together several packs of these, and these are $25 each. Um, and so you can um, order one of these and I will just pick one random. What's inside of them? Well, let's look at one. I've shown these on video before. You uh, get a pack of muslin or sort of a snippet roll base. You get um, a snippet of roses that you can stitch into. You get lots of eyelet pieces and snippets in a pack. I added in some buttons. They're random, they're all different, but they're all vintage. Everything I sell for the most part is vintage. Like, yeah, it just is um, for the most part. And then you've got, in this pack, you've got um, a doily here. One of those pieces I include in my coffee dye thank yous. Hand crocheted snippets. Uh, fillet crochet snippets or uh, batten burr or ecru, I don't know. And then you've got a piece of doily there with this beautiful piece at the end. A lace piece. And somebody talked about the other day, I was watching a video where a lady talked about this rolling up up on the lace. And I don't know what you call that, but when I avocado dye this lace, oh my God, it's so beautiful. So pretty. Um, there's some a batten bird or ecru, I forget. Very old vintage piece here hand crocheted and patinaed. I, this is not dyed or anything. That's just how it is because it's old and it was sitting up for a while. Battenbur piece. Um, an old, very light, thin piece of, um, of lace and uh, linen. Real linen. Pinch it. Stays together. And then very old vintage antique lace with some tatting um, in there. That's one. Let's look at another one really quick. I got a few more minutes. These are $25 each. And I'm calling these um, lace snippets. Okay. So you just order one and I'll just send you just send you one. Um, the floss in there and the floss and the buttons change. So here's one here, another one. Let's look at this one. Here's the button pack and the floss. There's the um, eye, eyelid pack with the little roses that you can snitch, snitch. Oh my gosh, that you can stitch on a snippet roll. Okay, and then here you've got um, ecru. You've got a doily, hand crocheted, another piece of the medallion, batten burr, a lace piece, all hand done, fillet crochet, very old vintage uh, antique piece here. This is old stuff. This is not kidding. That's old stuff right there, as well as this. Hand done, batten burr, white lace, vintage, 
hand crochet lacing piece, a piece of lace, and a very old vintage um, antique piece of lace. Okay, so they're all different. That's just a sampling of what comes in these. They're so fun, and they are twenty-five dollars. Um, whatever doesn't go here will go into my Etsy shop. I have plenty of photos um, to put um, in Etsy ready to go. Um, and yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four. Sometimes I changed up on colors, buttons and floss. This one even has a little piece of, of linen uh, in there. They all have a lot of vintage and old laces in there. This one is missing its um, little um, eyelet pack, but I'll put it in there. There's another one here. And another one here. And another one. And I can make um, a few more of these um, if need be, okay? These I'll add the eyelet um, packs in there because they're not in there, okay? So, um, yeah, they're just really a lot of fun, guys. They're just so much fun and so beautiful, and um, they're great. You can order these and gift them to people for Christmas, put them in stockings or Happy Mail, um, use them yourselves, um, decorate your books. You can use these as tabs. You can totally do what Rachel at Roxy Creation does, which I'm in love with, enamored with, um, in terms of putting some of these pieces across books. Um, they're just fun. And they're a really, really, really cool way to stash bill. Vintage stash bill. Okay? All right, guys. That's it. That's all I got for today. Tomorrow I may surprise you with something else. I do have the giveaway coming up, so stay tuned for that. All right. Adios, sale pues, orderly pues. Oh, and if you're interested in buying any of this stuff, just read the description box. It tells you everything. Um, it's it's very straightforward. Um, there's no tricks or gray area. Yeah, none of that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I don't have time for gray area. <laughs> All right, guys. Orderly pues, sale pues. Bye.